Aha! There you are. A very good evening to you. It is me, Scotty McClure, and we are live on the big one. Facebook Live, Friday night special, coming up to Christmas. I thought, why not spoil the audience? Give the people what they want, and they will reward you with their viewership. Dinky-doo, and a very warm welcome, I say to every single one of you. Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, and the world's top broadcaster, present company accepted and accepted. We are global, and we're on Facebook Live. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our Friday night Christmas special. Lovely to have with you, and uh, lovely to be with you. Lovely to have you with me. Excellent stuff. We'll diddle about. I know a lot of you will be out. You'll be wrapping presents. You'll be around at friends. You'll be doing things. You'll look at your phone and go, oh no, McClue was live and I actually missed him. For goodness sake, what's happening here? Colin Muir, Stephen Menzies, Julianne Scott, Wedge Hashby, Larry Donaldson, Ron Stewart, Dinky Doos is Wedge. I say Dinky Do to you. And uh, give me lots of thumbs up, guys. Give me lots of little hearts. Give me lots of your emoticons. <laughs> emoticons. A shout out, says Paul Leslie. Yes, why not, Paul? But I'm not going to make it all a shout out show. So there you are. I don't mind giving you a shout out, but we have so much to discuss. Tonight we're discussing Christmas gifts. And should we just give a token? Something of low monetary value, but of very high value. So there you are. Merry Christmas, says Wedge, and to you, old boy. Thanks very much. Lovely to have your company over not just the recent weeks and months and days, of course, but over many years, Wedge. That's what I say. Hello, Scotty. How are you tonight, says Brian Kessick. Excellent, Brian. Lovely to have you with us, I say. Spread the word. Tell 10, tell 10, tell 10, tell 10 that Scotty McClure is live on Facebook Live, that's the big one, that's the one everyone's talking about, that's the one everyone is watching. A fantastic week, we've had many, many shows this week, of course, very unusual, but just because of the festive season, I thought, why not just go for it, and we can all build the world's top talk show together, tremendous stuff. Uh, Ian Kerr's watching, Lear George Russell McFarlane, I mean Asda in Govan, says Jav Salim, I know it well Jav, it'll be very very busy at this time of year, and uh, you'll be getting lots of goodies, so there we go, uh, Ian Kerr's watching, fantastic, Andrew Hiddleston, excellent to have you with us, Gary Crossan, Ian Rob, hi Scotty, Dinky Doo, and Merry Christmas. We probably will manage to catch up on Sunday night, but who knows, because things can change. So I thought, speak to the nations, speak to many nations, speak to the world just beforehand, then we know everybody's okay. So there you go. Eric McKenzie, dinky do to you. Ian Walker, you're like a bad penny, Scotty. Keep coming up. Yes, and you love it, Ian Walker. We need to get you positivized. You're a wee man that loves your negativity. So there you are. I saw you having a go at the poor old Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh earlier because they were going by train. So there you are. So, I mean, they don't have a go at you, so don't you have a go at them. What's the point of this, says Gavin Tennant? The point of this is that we get everybody together, Gavin, right across the globe and get people talking. It's company. So there you are. That's the point in it. So enjoy it. Sit back and enjoy, Gavin. People like a wee bit of company sometimes. Not everybody's like yourself, surrounded by close family and friends and all your buddies. You might be sitting in some den there, some drinking den, having a wonderful time with all your buddies. But there are many people who could do with a wee chat. So that's the point in this, Gavin. Uh, Merry Christmas to you and everyone else on here, says Gary Crossan. Absolutely. So there you go. Uh, Gary Meekham is watching. Meeklem, have I said that right? Meeklem. Meeklem. Gary, have I said it right? Gary Meeklem. Uh, so there we are. All 12 folk watching. Gavin Tennant. It may interest you to know that one of the uh, Scotty McClure videos has 17,500 watching. And this week, about nine or 10,000 have watched, so it's not all 12 at all, you see it multiplies, it goes up and up and up and up, so that's how it works, have a look back on Scotty McClure's Facebook page, and you will start to get the message, 
All right. Don't be fooled by the little figure at the top. That's just temporary. So there we are. Dinky do to you, says Ron Stewart. Hi, Scotty, says Andrew Mackay. Marvellous stuff. Just find out you need a license for the squeeze box, Scotty. So you're stuck at no, 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 no. I'm fully paid up on the squeeze box. So you'll be getting a tune later, chum. Whether you like it or not. So there you are. Dinky do, says Ron. Andrew Carey, what's happening? Says Paul Leslie. Scotty. Is that Catalonia got independence, or is that the word democracy just what it is? A word. Well, it depends. You see, if you're having direct, pure democracy, so that means that people are not being swayed by biased media, that people are not being swayed by duff gen, by politicians who perhaps might even misconstrue the truth, that sort of thing. If you're not swayed by any of that, then yes, democracy, a wonderful thing, except are people well enough informed and educated to make decisions in a referendum? All right. So uh, a shout out to Cammy Stevenson, says Andrew. No problem at all. Robert Devlin is watching. Thank you, do. And John Curlin, marvellous to have you all with us. Excellent, I say. So there we go. Funny the doubting Thomases, isn't it? Guy on there, what's the point in this? What's it got to do with you? If you don't like it, bye-bye. Not a problem. So there you are. If somebody's got a problem with me, that's their problem. You see? Very strange, isn't it? The negative all the time. What's the point in this? There's only a few folk watching. Of course there is. It's a Facebook Live video. It's what it is. It's what it, it does what it says on the tin. So there we go. And uh, Satin and Paul, says Andrew. Excellent stuff. Dinky do to all of you. Now, Friday night special, as I say, just in case we don't manage a Sunday night. Feeling that we will do Sunday night at 9 o'clock sharp. But it's Christmas Eve. And I know at this time of year you're all very, 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 very busy. But a lot of you like to watch on Catch Up. So we'll do it that way. Uh, do you want a game of FIFA soon? Yes, excellent stuff. You can't beat that. What about a game of Brexit? Uh, I like the jacket tonight, Lord. Yes, do you think so? Keep up the payments on that one. Very nice. Um, I used to have it for rowing. And when I put that down in my CV, people thought it was rowing. So there you are. Uh, Nathan says, can you have the hippopotamus song, says Andrew. Yes, of course, Andrew. Excellent stuff. And uh, Robert Knapp is watching. Dinky do, Robert. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, folks, I know it's very short notice, but uh, welcome, 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 I say. You're watching Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live. Friday night, nothing gets past me, you know. I'm just going to put you all over there. So I'm going to do a little bit of shading here on the old uh, Facebook. <clears throat> just get that right as well. And that just lets everybody know. Instead of being negative, that guy could be letting everybody know. Sharing, sharing, sharing. So can we all keep sharing just as it goes? Never be afraid of work, I say. Always share. There we are. And that's just coming up now. I'm sharing that. That is excellent stuff. And you can do the same, guys. Uh, you've done well in the talent shows as well. Thank you very much. Callum Murray is watching. Uh, why has the Queen got a say in government bills? That's not democracy. She wasn't elected. Arrest my case. No. What you're forgetting, Ian Walker, is the history of this country, right? Otherwise, you'd never have made a comment on that. It's a very ignorant comment. The Queen, very, very kindly, or the monarch, very, very kindly, allowed this country to go to um, from absolute monarchy to constitutional monarchy. And she's obviously the head of state. So she still has the final say. The bill has to have royal assent before it becomes an act. And you should know that. So there we are. So that's that. But you've got to look at the history of the country. And you don't want your monarchy elected. Prime ministers come and go. Queens and kings go on. Excellent stuff. So that's the beauty of it. And that's what makes us um, quite interesting. It's like the term, a royal peculiar. The little chapels that are a royal peculiar. And uh, we have these wonderful customs in this country. So very important that the monarch is able to um, cast an eye over them. It tends to be more ceremonial. Nowadays, of course, the opening of Parliament, my government, the Queen's speech, 
uh, that's obviously written by the politicians because we are fully constitutional in this country. So you can't complain about that. But um, we could go back to absolute power where the monarch has the power over absolutely everything. And if you prefer that, Ian Walker, not a problem because in actual fact, I think it would improve things the way they are at the moment. I sent a request and I've sent one to you. A bit daft, but hey, um, who made her head of state? Uh, she is in a long line of heads of state going back for 2,000 years. So I suppose you could actually say that God made her head of state. And she is of a royal bloodline, descended from King David. Once in royal David's city stood a lowly cattle shed, the king of kings, who we mark his birth at this time of year. The Lord of hosts, wonderful counsellor, and there you are, the Prince of Peace. I have sent requests, is what I mean. No problem, Gerald Mackay. We'll look at that. So there you are. Shared Scotty, says Andrew. Excellent stuff. What's the time? Yes. If we can all share, that would be tremendous. Share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. Joe Joseph's watching. Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. And uh, Mary Carty is watching. Lovely to have you with us. And folks, thank you for all your support over the last year. So there we are. I think it was uh, September. Um, September we did our one year of Facebook Live broadcasts, and this is show number 66. Incredible. So there you are. Are we barley water tonight? Says Robert Devlin. Got it here, Robert. Just have a sip. Mmm. Oh, that's lush. Marvelous stuff. Um, I hate you by mistake, says General Mackay. Now don't worry about that. And uh, Scotty. You're losing it, says Ian Walker. Ian Walker, I'm always losing it when I tell you the truth. You sit there in absolute fear and trepidation of facts. I'll tell you, but there you are. I'm hooked now, says Susan Cook. Susan, you can tell the dafty that was going, what's the point in this? You can see there is a big point to it. We watch Scotty McClure because it unites the world. It joins us all together. We have no racism because there is only one race. The human race and we're all members then we have god's creatures all great and small the animals and ingles is watching dinky do and lovely to have you with us i hope all's well with you ricky evans is watching dinky do and there you are sir ian walker i'd like to have to return the compliment you're losing it chum excellent stuff so there you go mcclue knows his stuff and you have to wise up big time uh, Ricky Evans, Dinky Do, Scotty, the Human Encyclopedias of Robert Devlin. Yes, Robert, I had to learn my stuff before there were any search engines, before there was any internet, when people came on the radio and asked me a question. I had to give them an answer off the top of my head. So there you are, one big family, says Ron Stewart. We are the people of the world, Ron Stewart. How marvellous is that? Christopher Reese, you Dinky Do, lovely to have you with us. And a guy on last night saying that he didn't think it was great that Scotty McClue, a world celebrity, was having to beg for £10 on social media and all the rest of it. Don't worry about that, chum. Get it right, big style, right? Social media, Scotty McClue is going to end up bigger than ever because it's a world show. We've got people in Australia and America and Canada uh, and New Zealand watching right now. Merry Christmas and God bless you, says Christopher Reese. Scotty, a wee question. I've done a bit of research. The names of the folk in the Bible are in Hebrew. Is, is it not David, Peter, Paul, Rab, and Tam? Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth. Yes, so there you go. That's, uh, that's how it goes there. And um, who else have we got? Hooked, says Gary Pretty. Thanks, Gary. Excellent stuff. Gary, have you been with us for a long time or have you just joined us, I see? Right, can everybody tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that they're watching Scotty McClue? We're live on the world's top platform, Facebook Live, broadcasting live, excellent stuff. And uh, if you go back, I mean, the Christmas story, and they're wearing that same field, shepherds abiding, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said, Fear not, for I bring you glad tidings of great joy. Unto us this day in the city of David a child is born, 
and he lies in a manger in swaddling clothes. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Almighty God, the Prince of Peace. So there you are. We are all behind you. Five in the pot, dinky-doo from me to you, says Ron Stewart. Ron Stewart, you're an absolute gentleman. Thank you very much. Guys, Scotty McClure accepts applause or derision on his merits. And some of you might tut-tut at that. But uh, if you have a spare five pounds or two pounds or one pound or a thousand pounds, a hundred thousand, a million, then stick it into gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue or paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue all one word. S-C-O-T-T-I-E-M-C-C-L-U-E. -E. Good evening from Inverness. Inverness, says Alan Morrison, who's up in Inverness. Now, Schnecke is a city that's just getting bigger and bigger. Am I right, Alan Morrison? So there you are. Uh, we're hearing you loud and clear from the Clatty Close Islands in the China Sea. Lorna Smedley Hardy's watching Dinky Doo Lorna. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClure. We are, of course, live on the big one, Facebook Live, the World's Talk broadcast platform. Scotty, Paddington 2 versus Star Wars. What's the best movie? Oh, I think, I think Paddington's going to be pretty hot stuff, to be quite honest. So there you are. And um, who have we got? Obi-Wan Kenobi. Is there Obi-Wan Kenobi and Obi-2 Kenobi? I'm never too sure. I remember somebody, there's a film called The Madness of King George III. And an American was once asked, they said, have you seen The, Mag the, the, the Madness of George III? And he said, I haven't even seen one and two. So there you are. Scott Beattie is watching Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, you sure are, says Alan Morrison. Dinky Doo, I say. Lovely to have you with us. So there you are. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome to you. Come in, come in, come in, come in. This is where the world meets on a Friday night. So we're all getting together. Fantastic stuff. Spread the word, though. Keep sharing. If you've got a big number of people on your Facebook page, share with them. You'll see. I'll stick it up for you again. Here we go. No problem at all. I'm just going to pop a link up for you guys. Just going to sit you there, right? And I'm going to pop the link up, and we'll see if we can get you joining in. Very, very important. I'll send it over to uh, the Scotty McClue page. Right, that's that there. There we are. Excellent stuff. And uh, you're very welcome. Let people know we're on right now, guys. Very important. So this page I'm sending over is the Scotty McClue official page. Not necessarily the one you're actually watching on just now. So there we've got about 8,000 on Facebook Live. But of course we are open to the world. But set your notifications. Never be short of your notifications so that uh, that people know what's actually going on. Right, I've just shared it there again, and um, I'll just share one more. Just bear with me. Just sharing one more. Do not go away, I say. Fantastic. Right, there we are. And uh, we've got the squeeze box coming up, so you'll be getting a tune. There we are. That's a C-H-O-O-N. Excellent stuff. This is just coming up on the timeline now, guys. So you should see it. So if you can see this, if you can just share it on, right on Scotty McClure's timeline, let me know if you've got it. Feedback to me. Very, very important. Uh, Scotty, the great engineer, Eisenbard Kingdom Brunel, designed a bridge in Scotland. But where is it, says Stephen Menzies. Excellent. Brunel's bridge in Scotland. I'm just trying to think which one that might be. So there we are. Well, it's not... Um, Mm, it's not the uh, mm, no I don't think it is well I don't well he didn't design we know he didn't design the fourth rail bridge so that wasn't Brunel's bridge we'll see what we can get out of here can we get the squeeze box and a song at the same time the Robert Devlin so there we are. If anybody knows the answer to that, Eisenberg Kingdom Brunel, you're not allowed to go looking up on your search engine, though. You've got to come on and give it to us. So we'll ask about that. Uh, hello, sir. How's it going, my friends? Says Joseph. Dinky do, Joseph. No problem at all. I hope you're having a nice time. You have a lovely Christmas. Uh, Scotty, are you a religious royalist? You know you can get ointment for that. <laughs> and what are you, Ian? So there you are. What's your particular 
um, following. So do let us know and uh, we'll see what's right. The one over the Tweed, is that right? No, I don't think so. The one at Berwick, the Berwick Bridge. I don't think that's a Brunel, is it? It might be. Who knows? We shall find out. I would have thought it was earlier than that. Shout out, please, Biggin, says Jamie. Jamie, thank you, do. Uh, Scotty, you banger, says Steph McLean. Hello, Steph, you banger, says Scotty McLean. You look fresh-faced. What's your secret? Says Robert Devlin. So there you are. Never done a handstand in my life. <laughs> Not actually true. Worked very, 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 very hard since I was 12. But having said that, I think it's very important to see if you love what you're doing, you'll never work a day in your life. Uh, so that's it. All right, mate, says Cameron. Hello, Cameron. Dinky do. Lovely to hear from you. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClue, the one stop broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. And we are, of course, live on the big one on Facebook Live. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Right, hi Scotty, have a dinky do Christmas, says Stuart Main, and you Stuart, lovely to hear from you, and thoroughly enjoy all your posts throughout the year. Good evening Scotty, and uh, yes, we've got everybody on here, that's excellent. Steve Burrows has just joined us, he's an old favourite, Steve's been around a long time, now Steve, you must be rubbing your hands, McClue's been on a few shows this week, so there you are, so you'll be quite delighted with that, that's what we call a result I know that was one of yours when we just did the uh, Sunday night. Joseph says, what are you drinking, dude? I'm at the barley water, Joseph. Ooh, very, very nice. We touch of passion fruit in it and uh, a little touch of the orange and pineapple. Very, very good. Very good for you, of course. So excellent stuff. Right, now, comments, please, and questions. If you've got something you want to ask, please feel free to do that. Let's have a few thumbs up and a few hearts. And a few, uh, what do you call them? Emoticons, emo emo emoticons. I can never actually work out what that is. Richard Mackay, Dinky Doo, Fiona Gibsons. Lovely to have you with us, Fiona. And welcome, welcome. Dinky Doo, I love the shows. I used to follow you up and down the airwaves. Not heard the famous Mega Mix in a while, says Martin Begg. Do you know, Martin, when uh, I virtually had command of the, the whole of the north of England and the Midlands, it was wonderful. Apparently the truckers used to follow me all the way down the motorway and then when they went across the M62 they switched to the other uh, station which had Scotty McClure on live amazing stuff what do you think of Apple making iPhones slower well not a bad idea Richard to be quite honest with you as long as they're fast enough to get Scotty McClure out there what uh, I think we need to do next is approach one of the big mobile phone companies and say look why don't you take the show and then all your uh, subscribers can come and watch and uh, let them have the phones for free so we can get a discussion so in other words you know you, a call to Scotty McClue is free or very very low cost or whatever so there you are that's what I think would be excellent I love the Scott FM days says Craig McIntosh. Scott FM was Scotland's brightest radio hour. It was a station owned by Scots, run by Scots, for the benefit of the Scottish people. And it's something that I hope we see the like again. But nowadays, of course, Scotland is very much at the mercy of companies who operate out with Scotland. And the radio's got um, an owner in Germany, and owners in London so there you are but uh, that was the days of proper Scottish radio Scotty should uh, what we got here leading too many to temptation ban the king prawns says Alan Cadden John Toms and his king prawns uh, Ronnie Ginch McGlinchey dinky do lovely to have you with us so there we are do you drink and he names a certain drink we all want to know no I don't drink at all, Cameron, so there you are. Ah, but the demise was when Scotty left. Well, they had to sell the station. That was the silliest, silliest piece of commercial business ever done by a radio station, was letting Scotty McClure go. But because it was causing so much of a threat to the existing media, we thought, hmm, interesting. You know, that sort of thing. Why did Scotty McClure go? There was no reason. 
and it was nothing I did or said. So a very interesting. Girls, Rolly Jones, dinky do, lovely to have you with us, Ian Pugh. Hello, how are you? Uh, if we had a Scott FM again, it would have been tremendous success. 23 years ago last week was was uh, Scotty McClue on Scott FM. Do you remember it? The 12th of December, 1994. It was freezing. And that's why we had the bonnet in mitts, because it was so cold down at the harbour at Leith Docks. So there we are, Albert Key. Um, I think it's probably not there now. Uh, Ian Pugh, excellent stuff. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, if you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClure. We are, of course, live on the big one, Facebook Live. Can we share, 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 and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure live on Facebook Live just for you, Dinky Doo. Hi, Scotty. How are you? Says Jean Smith and a lovely kiss. Mwah. I'm fine, Jean. Lovely to hear from you and excellent. I'm thoroughly enjoying the concept. Now, it's just starting out. We're just scratching the surface, really. But the concept of having so many people together in the one place, it brings the world together. That's the point in the program. So there you are. And um, somebody is saying, oh, it's a shame a big national star like you on Facebook, um, on social media and things like that. But ridiculous. It's huge. We just haven't tapped the potential yet. There's 1.8 billion people on Facebook so far. And I may well increase that. So there you are. Because when we get together, we chit chat. That's what it's all about. What's your best story from Scott FM, Scotty? Oh, Andrew Mackay. I think my best story, I probably couldn't tell you. <laughs> but we certainly had a lot of fun. And uh, don't say we didn't, because we did. There we are. The audience were in on the joke. Um, so there we are. How's your bud, says Jamie McFarlane. Dinky do, Jamie. Yes, I'm excellent. Thank you. Shout out to Smithy, says Andrew. So they are, remember it well, says Scott BD. Uh, I'm sorry, Scotty, says Carol Carlos Donnelly. What are you sorry about, Carol Carlos Donnelly? You have nothing to be sorry about, my dear fellow. Uh, so there you are, but do tell us what's, uh, what's uh, eating you. Um, you know, come on and see. So there we are. And um, have you shared? What's the time? We're just coming up to 10 o'clock. So get sharing big style. Share, 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 share. I shall share as well. You know, I, I don't, I'm not afraid of work. And I don't want you doing something that I don't do myself. So I shall share as well. I forgot to put my tie on tonight. I hope you don't mind me turning up a bit cash. A bit cash tonight. Right, so that's getting shared in public. That will pop up on your uh, inboxes right now on your Facebook page. And also, I'm just going to share, um, I'll share to the group as well. I think that's very important, just to see that everybody got it. Now, this is the Scotty McClue fan group, guys. Feel free to come and join us. There's about, I think there's about 3,800 of us on there at the moment. So it's a nice little Facebook group. But uh, it should be, I mean, to be honest with you, Scotty McClue's figures should be up in the millions, to be absolutely honest with you. But... That's fine, as I say, it's early days, and from Little Acorn's Great Oak Scroll. I told somebody that last night, and they went, I'm surprised at you thinking of, of yourself as a little acorn. And the answer is, of course, everything you have to start. Scott FM was started from scratch. When I took over the evening show, there was 3,000 listeners. We turned that into almost a quarter of a million per half hour when we went on to the daytime. Shout out to the wheel tappers and shunters. Do you remember that? For your committee. Wheel tappers and shunters. Shout it out for Jamie, says Jimmy McFarlane. Uh, where are you based these days, Scotty? Says Craig McIntosh. I'm based in Scotland now, Craig. Back in Scotland. So having a great time. Shout out to Jordan Dinky Doo. Yes, absolutely, no problem. And um, just depressed because of people, says Carol Carlos Stanley. Do not be depressed, dear boy. I know it's easy to say, but please don't get down and don't get depressed. Don't let people get to you. Remember, if somebody's got a problem with you, that's their problem. So there you are. So don't be letting people get you down. You're watching Scotty McClure, for goodness sake. What's not to like? 
What could be better on a Friday night than sitting back looking at your Facebook page and there's Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and first lord of the internet, looking back at you. Excellent. And uh, who have we got here? Uh, Paul, come on the Xbox, says Jamie. We're all here, says Robert Devlin. Absolutely. Hail, hail, the gang's all here. Uh, we'll see Scotty doing a live show at the Fringe, says Kay. I get asked every year. I'm maxed at the moment work-wise. And I get asked every year. And because I do a lot of work round about the time of the Fringe, it's very difficult to combine the two. So uh, it, it usually that tends to, to collide with other stuff at the time. But I would love to do a show at the Fringe. Excellent stuff. Love to do all that. But if only we could have several lives, you know what I mean? And uh, Neil McLean from Balakhulish, or as we used to say, Balakhulish. Excellent stuff. I remember being taken out uh, when the um, Balakhulish Bridge was uh, being built. The civil engineers um, invited me to come and see it. And I remember we were able to walk out and have a look at the bridge being built. It was tremendous, wonderful stuff. So there you are. Very exciting, of course. And I've got great, great grandparents from Balakahulish. So there you go. And I remember the uh, ferries, and um, the wee ferries with the swing out side. Was it an actual turntable that? Or did it just swing to the side? And they used to go, uh, and they went away upstream and came downstream. Was that right? Or did they go downstream and come upstream? They went upstream and came downstream. So if you're from Balakhulish, love to have you with us and love to Balakhulish and love to Dura and love to Connell and all the places that love to Strontian. Fantastic stuff. I was an Edinburgh cabbie when you were on Scott FM and we tuned in every night, says Craig. Absolutely massive, massive following on that program just because we talked nonsense. Um, I don't know what Paul Leslie's at. He's got something wrong there. Uh, that's a bit weird, says Cameron. Um, I also loved Fat Bob, says Craig McIntosh. Yes, I don't know where he went. I never heard any more from Fat Bob. Uh, so there we are. So, no pyro, no party, on the wraith, says Cameron. How they be dancing in the streets of wraith. Absolutely. Excellent stuff. Neil Gormley's watching. Neil O'Gormley, lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, and we're live on Facebook Live. That's the big one, the one everyone's talking about, the one everyone is watching. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue, just for you, saying dinky-doo, on Facebook Live. Uh, evening, Scotty, says Andy Hughes. Excellent stuff. Uh, I see myself as the Laird of Mill guy. The knowledgeable one, the light of humanity, the Messiah. I'm here to preach the unpreachable, the dark, royalist, and empire enthusiast. The empire strikes back. That's me, sir. Well, what a strange shell that is to be. There's nothing there that interests me at all, Ian. So, bye. Scotty, do you know that black and white TVs are missed and that people use their imaginations? I can remember when we first got... Well, I can remember we didn't have ITV. We just had a television set, and it got the BBC. There was no BBC One and BBC Two. And it just got the BBC. And uh, the lady upstairs, we lived in a big flat, and the lady upstairs, she had um, ITV, so you could go up and see Associated Rediffusion and Robin Hood. And I remember the continuity announcers coming up from uh, Scottish television in the early days, and I thought, that's what I want to do. I wanted to be the man in the telly, and I became the man on the telly. Excellent stuff, amazing. Right, you all sorted for Christmas, says Steve Burrows. Yes, 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 we're sorted. What's your predictions for 2018? My predictions for 2018 is it's going to be an absolutely fabulous, fabulous year for a lot of people. Well, there you are. The world has turned. It's tremendous. I mean, I've had uh, ups and downs over the years. Nobody fires on all cylinders at full speed all of the time, remember. But, uh, you know, nobody plans to fail. They just fail to plan. So there we are. So I think there's going to be excellent things. In Walker, ah, you shell that you are. I can show talking to you. I can hear you echoing. So there you are at the emptiness. Uh, shout out to me, Willie Ramsey and Maria Scotty. 
says Willie Ramsey. Dig you do, of course, Willie. No problem at all. So there we are. What's with the trams, says Gordon Cruden. Do you like the trams, Gordon? I can remember I was broadcasting live on Radio 4 on Sunday mornings and uh, we had a talk show and the discussions were massive about the trams. So there you are. And of course, Glasgow had the trams. I could actually remember the trams. Remember the little one holding my mother's hand or grabbing my mother's hand because that tram went past and its wheels squealed. <laughs> On the rails in uh, St Vincent Street, I think it was. I was just tiny, but I'm pretty sure it was. Scotty, I can't help it. They just get me down, says Carl Carlos Donnelly. Carl Carlos Donnelly, you need to help it. Yes, you need to help it, La. Do not let people get you down. If people have a problem, that's their problem. Okay? So you get strong and you get well. Excellent stuff. Scotty, I remember your dad. So there you are. <laughs> and the wolf man, when you're we, the earlier one of these, the wolf man, excellent stuff. No, my da, when it came to television. So I was going to finish the story. So we got this television, right? And my da had an aerial that went across a big window, a great big old window from about 1838. And he would stand up, it was a great big tall man, a big ex paratrooper from the Second World War. And he would hold this aerial, and we were to shout, Yep! No, 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 yeah, better, better, hold it there. And then he would wedge this thing into the window, and that aerial was across the window for yonks. Another thing he used to get was like two knitting needles <laughs> sitting on top of the telly. That was aerial with wee plastic tops on them so they didn't get anybody in the eye. Uh, Scotty, do kids play enough board and card games these days, proper ones? I believe that it binds families together and gets kids thinking. What's your view, please, sir? Alan, absolutely, I'm all for the board games. I can remember playing a board game at Christmas with my family, and one of the questions was about me. And that was the biggest issue. And I said, you're at it. I kid you not. And read the question out again, and it was about Scotty McClue. So there you are. Excellent stuff. Willie, my bro, says Andy. Thanks, Scotty. Can you shout out and um, the sound of the police? Merry Christmas to you. I'm not impersonating the police, for goodness sake. So there we are. So the answer, in answer to your question, Alan, I don't think children do play enough board games. I don't think they play enough games. I think they're too much on their phones. And I know I can talk because a lot of young people, Scotty McClure has got a massive, massive young following, a youth following, always has had which is why I remember the head of Radio 1 coming into a conference I was speaking at. I've probably told you that before, but I was most amazed. I thought, my goodness, it's the head of BBC Radio 1. And he's come to hear Scotty McClue speak. And of course, it was because we had such a huge youth following and still have tremendous. So there you are. But of course, the tiny, tiny minds sometimes that are only used to putting songs into playlists, but they're called the controller or the director or something like that because uh, they put the songs into the playlist they don't understand audiences remember i've spent 50 years talking to live audiences excellent stuff and that's what it's all about um excellent young columbus and jamie mcfallon excellent stuff and uh, i quite like to watch colombo mario well if i can just there's just one more question sir if i can just ask you about your wife on the night, sir. So it's all that stuff, isn't it? Merry Christmas, Scotty. Keep up the fantastic work, sir. Dinky news is Christopher Anthony Smith. John McDonough, 38 degrees centigrade here in Paraguay. Lovely barbecue going on. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. It's beginning to look excellent stuff. And um, lovely to have you all on. Uh, Corey and Jaden says, Scotty boy, have a nice Christmas. What's under your bonnet? Oh, that's a secret. Keep it under your hat. Not a problem at all. Come on, Scotty. Say whoop whoop the sound of the police. No, I'm not going to do that in case people start panicking. Plus, it might upset the dog. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. We're live on Facebook Live. Just for you. Saying dinky do. Have a wonderful Christmas, says Gary. Gary Petty, thanks, Scotty, says Carl Carlos Donnelly. No, thank you, Carl Carlos Donnelly. You're a great guy. And just start thinking about all your strengths, 
all the things you've dealt with, all the things you've coped with in your wonderful life. Uh, hello, Scotty, says Paul Heinemann. Hello, Paul, dinky-doo. Give us a dab, says Paul. Ha-ha! <laughs> hit the dab, hit the dab. Not a problem. Shared, shared, shared. Yes, can we all share right now? And I shall do the same. So let's get you sharing. Here we go. I'm just going to move you to the side. A little bit to the side. Excellent stuff. We're saving up for a camera. So if anybody's flush and you've got a spare two pounds, five pounds, ten pounds, a thousand pounds, a million pounds, stick it into gofundme.com forward slash scotty hyphen mcclue or paypal.me forward slash scotty mcclue or one word. Just going to do a bit of sharing, guys. Not a problem. There we are. If it was a problem, we wouldn't do it. <laughs> Excellent stuff. You're watching Scotty McClue Friday night special, a Christmas special, just for you saying dinky do. There we are, just sharing again. Excellent stuff. Um, Scotty, I took my dad to uh, see the Bird Island off North Berwick. Um, he had dementia, and I didn't know they gave you a stick to keep the birds away. My dad went mad trying to whack them out the air. The poor birds. My goodness. Are you talking about the Bass Rock? So there you are. Uh, I remember somebody asking me and said, why is the Bass Rock so white? <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't quite know how to explain that there was rather a lot of calcium on it. Um, you know, uh, a byproduct. Fantastic stuff. I think I'll stick it into the comments. I'll just write a comment. There we go. Rather than worry about sharing. Just pop a comment in that will get to all of you want it. Dinky do. Let you know that everybody's watching Scotty McClue. The world is watching McClue as we speak. Have we shared? Right. Excellent stuff. Okay, here we go again. Sharing now. Wonderful. That's that done. Welcome, 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 I see. If you've just joined us, lovely to have you with us. Of course, you'll get nothing on television to touch this, guys. So there you are. And it's like uh, having your own television. It was Iron Bridge over the River Dee at Crathy to Balmoral Castle. Only found that out last week. Queen Victoria didn't like it. Uh, Stephen Menzies is saying, all oh, right. So Eisenbard Kingdom Brunel. His father was a great engineer and designer as well. Uh, Gab, the new social media platform. Uh, Scotty I. It was the Bass Rock. So there we are. Um, shout out to John in Spain. Hello, John in Spain. Hola, we say. Ha, ah, Paul, I've just seen it. This is John Jack. Dinky do to you, Scotty. This is Paul Crookshanks. Jimmy McFarlane. Gordon Roddick's watching. I hope you have a good Christmas with Gordon Roddick. Now, Gordon Roddick is an absolute living legend. One of this country's finest broadcasters. Uh, one of the early announcers on Scottish television. Very, very distinguished. And in those days, you really, really had to know your stuff to become a television announcer. And that's the wonderful Gordon Roddick. And uh, a wonderful television transmission controller as well. And a delightful gentleman. So if you ever get the chance to meet Gordon Roddick, then uh, do jump at it. So there you are. Also, a tremendous newscaster for the BBC. So there you are. Wonderful name. And uh, it's great to hear from Gordon. I was very privileged. I got to work with Gordon for a number of years, and that was really something of a privilege because these were guys that you could learn so much from. Excellent. Lovely to hear from you, Gordon, and a good Christmas to you and your lovely family. Uh, Scotty, what's your New Year's resolution? To um, broadcast a lot more to you lot, to lose a bit of weight. So there you are. See if I can get a bit of weight off so that I can actually get myself in the screen. And um, a shout out for my uncle from Japan. It's Paul as a dinky do to your uncle in Japan. Not a problem at all. So there we are. What do you think of the Danish way of life, says Alan Kedden? It's not something I tell you a great deal about, to be quite honest with you, Alan. But I'm always willing to learn. But I do love the bacon and I quite enjoy the butter as well. Um, do you know Duke Street in Glasgow, Scotty? Any story? Oh, do I know Duke Street? My goodness me. Yes, I'll tell you a story about it. Uh, there's a lovely Scottish Sam tune, and it's called Duke Street Number Nine. Now, I'd need to check the background to it, but I always remember it. Duke Street Number Nine. There you are. And there was a jail, there was a prison in Duke Street as well. 
incredible out in Denison there. My favourite book is The Ragged Trousered Philanthropist. The Ragged Trousered Philanthropist. What's yours, Scotty? Oh my goodness. I think Black Diamonds has got to be one of my favourites. Uh, Stephen Wearmouth. Uh, no wait to lose, man, Scotty. Just get a smaller bonnet. There you are. Stephen Wearmouth's up at Tyne and Weir there in County Durham. And uh, what did you have for dinner tonight, Sir Robert Devlin? Ah, Robert, we were at the sliced sausage tonight. Very nice. And a wee bit over the top, two beautiful eggs. So there you are, the sliced sausage and two beautiful eggs. And then to finish, a little bit of brie. Very nice, very creamy. Uh, Duke Street, is it not the longest street in Glasgow? It might well be. I mean, what does it go on to? Doesn't go on to London Road. No, am I am I up the rang close, as we say? Shout out to my ma, says Jack McGarry. Hello, ma. Dinky do. Uh, thank you, Scotty. And my favourite book is The Count of Monte Cristo. Do let me know your favourite book or your favourite movie. So there you are. Excellent stuff. When I was in Yorkshire, though, I came across. I virtually stumbled upon the greatest country house in Europe. And then I wanted to know the history of it. And I got the history of it pretty sharpish. But then I found out there was a book about it called Black Diamonds. So there you are. So look that one up. Black Diamonds. About uh, a great famous Yorkshire family. And uh, the biggest country house in Europe. A calendar house. And uh, shout out for Uncle Neely, says Paul. Yes, of course. Thank you, do. And uh, a shout out for Auntie Catherine. Uh, Scotty, what's your favourite music? Oh, there's so much. I love uh, rock music. I love jazz. I love classical music. I love Scottish country dance. I love all that fantastic stuff. Scotty, we'll be doing a topic specific shows like in the days. Well, Craig, I think it's quite good if people come on and discuss what they want to discuss. So it's, uh, it's, it's big, big stuff, but we might tie people down to a topic but did you hear my phraseology there tie people down so that's never the best thing i don't think so i'm not sure we want to do that and um, so there you are stephen wearmouth and um, graham masterton the walkers scotty tremendous fantastic uh, you didn't tell me stephen are you, are you near um alston and garrigal and places like that Gives us songs as Jimmy McFarlane. Oh no, I don't. I don't want to give you a song. I don't think because uh, then we'd have to find out who owns the copyright. Restless Natives or Gregory's Girl. Gregory's Girl. I remember it coming out, and there's a lovely little part, a wee cameo for the late great Chick Murray in that. He's the headmaster or the head teacher, and he plays the piano. And he goes, dum, 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 dum. and then two little ones looking, and he goes, "Go away, small boys." So that's the fantastic stuff. Oh, how not? Says Jamie McFarlane. Fantastic stuff. No, no, the song. Sing a wee song for us, says Cameron. I'll maybe give you a tune on the box. I'll give you a tune on the box and we've got time. Let's see. We've got the squeeze box here. We might just have time for a wee tune. Just a, a small tune. I'll move back. See if we can get this going here. <laughs> tune i'll tell you oh we can do a tune ch -O -N, pure pixar and uh, marvelous stuff um excellent thank you thank you thank you very much give us jingle bells says john jay jingle bells right we don't normally do requests um you know i used to do requests but people said can you finish your act outside please that was usually the request but <laughs> There you are, 
Oh, there's a wee jingle bells for you. Not a problem at all. Right, what else are we at? Wicked man, says Bill Laser. Oh, shocker. I'm a shocker. The squeeze box. Not only do I pop up on Facebook Live on a Friday night, but I play the squeeze box. Right, uh, time for a drop of the, the barley water. Ooh. Oh, that's lush. Right, as every single one of you shared this, because we're just about coming up to the end. Share, 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 share. We've got five minutes left. Kai Frankie, shout out to John Wilson from the Gorbals. Muck Scotty, says Cameron. Dinky do. So there we are. Do you know the famous Red Indian that had a pint in Duke Street? He came with his horse. So there we are. Did he not come, was it... Um, Yes, there was an Indian chief, wasn't there? Uh, it's not so much, um, it's a North American native Indian. So they are, because I said to a lady, I could teach her to speak North American native Indian in three weeks. And she said to me, how? And I said, see, you're picking it up already. Uh, so there you are. I think we had, um, who did we have? Bill, Buffalo Bill Cody came to Glasgow and uh, did a show down in the East End, I'm pretty sure. Hi, the earphones come in handy, says yes, you can take them off now. And uh, wicked, says John Jack. Neil Gormley, excellent to have you with us. Um, share, 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 tell 10 to tell 10. Can everybody share now? Now, I can see you all sharing. So if you don't share, my clue will know about it. Oh, we don't want that again, do we? So there you are, excellent stuff. Guys, if I don't see you, they'll have a fabulous Christmas, but I'll talk to you about that later as we go on. There is so much to talk about and so little time to do it in. Uh, who else have we got? Uh, yes, hi, Neil, dinky do to you. Fantastic. So, Jason, are you going to give us the answer? Who was the famous North American Native Indian that had the pint? Ian Hornby's watching. dinky do. Uh, fantastic. I lost some of you there. So I'm just going back to, to catch up. Um, so rave music's coming back in with the DJs. Make a big uproar. Excellent stuff. Fantastic. Yes, wonderful. Well done, Lord. I'm sure I came across you in Newcastle playing Scotty. I threw you a couple of pounds in your bonnet. You maybe did, Stephen. If you did, I'm very, very grateful to you. So there you are. That probably managed to get me a phone call and I was able to ring the chauffeur and get the limo to come round the corner and pick me up. Excellent stuff. Uh, wet the whistle, says Robert. Oh, you need to wet the whistle. Uh, I only did requests if I was asked, says Neil O'Gormley. So there you are. Now, my request for usually, could you finish your act outside, please? And uh, that's the thing that you do. So if you've just joined us and you're wondering what on earth is going on, let's know if you're watching in America, if you're watching in Australia, if you're watching in New Zealand, if you're watching in Russia, China, Japan, there you are. If you're watching in the Arctic or the Antarctic, if you're watching in South America, right down the bottom there, the Tierra del Fuego, after two, one, two, what a place that is, Scotty. Excellent stuff. So there we go. And uh, if you remember the Scott FM show, then do let me know as well, because a lot of people who were like 14 at the time. Oh, just to let you know, I've posted uh, a Scotty McClue phone in for younger people Christmas Eve special. So you'll see that on Facebook Live. Also, can you follow Scotty McClue on Twitter? Those of you that have got Twitter accounts at Scotty McClue and um, get on to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. Don't just put in Scotty McClue YouTube, put in Scotty McClue YouTube channel. And we upload a lot of the shows there. So excellent stuff from that point of view. Also, the Scotty McClue website, www.scotty-mcclue.com. Get yourselves on there as well. Very, very important. And um, Paul Hyman's laughing there. And if you want to make a contribution, you can do it via PayPal. A couple of pounds. Doesn't matter. Just like um, the gentleman says he flung in my bonnet, Stephen Wearmouth. Uh, flung it into my bonnet when I was busking in the street of Newcastle. Not a problem. We also used to do a big, big radio phone in in Newcastle. Tremendous. Scotty McClure's phone in uh, when uh, Mike the Mooth. I don't know if you remember Mike the Mooth. A marvellous man. But when Mike the Mooth was off, uh, sadly, I think Mike's no longer with us. But a wonderful, wonderful man. Great broadcaster. And if you're listening, big man, then dinky-doo from Scotty McClure. 
uh, lovely guy, and uh, he did a great show. He used to shout, it's showtime! <laughs> that was it. Tremendous. Century Radio in the North East. Century Radio in the North West was a biggie. Century Radio in the Midlands. And we put the three of them together at the Millennium for the Scotty McClue Hogmanay Bash. Because if you think about it, Hogmanay is usually quite duff, you know what I mean? And uh, the, the broadcasters tend to make a mess of it because they just kind of cobble it together. They don't have somebody like myself coordinating it. And when I took part in Hogmanay, used some very famous people. I worked with Andy Stewart. I worked with uh, Bill McHugh, uh, all that. Uh, we used to have Ali Bean as well, was great. So Ali would come and play the fiddle. Phil Cunningham on the box, tremendous. And uh, we could go right back to all the, the wonderful Scottish bands that used to come on and entertain. Superb stuff. We can go back to the days of, of the great Jack McLaughlin. Uh, Marvellous stuff. And um, what, was the, what was the show called? It was tremendous. And uh, it was uh, uh, that they did the, the Scottish show on Scottish television. That was a that was a cracker as well. And uh, so there you are. If you can remember that one, just uh, jog my memory. I say excellent stuff. And we used to hoe down and what have you on that one. Do the hoe down. Uh, well done, Lord says Andrew Mackay. Yes, you are talking to the first Lord of the internet, and uh, you're talking to the world's top broadcaster. Present company accepted and accepted. Thingamajig. That's what it was called. Thingamajig. I couldn't remember. I was going to go, what was it called? Do you remember that? Thingamajig. Oh, it's called Thingamajig. Excellent stuff. So there you are. Get the joke. Did you get that? Excellent stuff. Ha ha ha. Says Paul Hyman. Paul Hyman got the joke. And that is fantastic. Right. Uh, one last share. And then I shall push off. So there you are. If you're watching right now, dinky do. And um, we'll have one last share. So can you share, 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 share. Friday night, nothing gets past me. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the well stop broadcaster, live on Facebook Live with his 66th, right? Not easy to say, 66th last show. So there we are, 66th show. So not the last show, I mean. More about his 66th show. So that's 66 one hour shows from something that just started clicking the icon to say hi to every single one of you. Not too bad, I say. And you'll get a lot of them on YouTube. So excellent stuff there. You decide if you're wanting to make a contribution, decide if you want to do it via GoFundMe.com or PayPal. You'll get both of the logos on the Scotty McClue website. Of course, they're absolutely card safe. So there you go. So feel free to uh, to give with abundance because what I do with that, I can turn it like the feeding of the 5,000. I can use five pounds, turn it into advertising uh, on Facebook, get little bits of equipment to build up the program. Very, very important. Okay. Right. Can we have one more share? Share, 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 share. And then I shall sing you the song and then I shall push off. Are you ready for the song? <coughs> All together now. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of we tarzan. Au revoir and a cheerio. Lovely being with you guys. Have a great weekend. Have a fabulous week. If I don't see you before, have a great Christmas. If not, then we'll uh, try and pop up on Sunday night at nine o'clock sharp sunday night nine o'clock sharp scotty mcclure live on the big one on facebook live saying dinky do to every single one of you thanks for watching and lots of love i love you all and there's not a thing you can do about it dinky do scotty mcclure's left the building